emergency responders are on the scene of what appears to be a serious car accident. And the press is taking note. Were they under influence? The only information I have right now is that there were two females. Now they might look like working journalists, but they're actually high school students attending a workshop for the Arizona Latino Media Association. At the scene of the accident, the students quickly learn that two teenage girls have been injured in the vehicle. One with serious trauma to the head. Police say a contributing factor in the accident was texting and driving. Throughout the day's events, students were able to get out of the classroom and cover real-life breaking news. The first individual, the first female, her injuries are, are critical. Even participating in an authentic That's press conference. It's an opportunity for them to see what kind of information are they going to get from the police officers as well as the firefighters. Getting the safety message out there is a big part of also what we're doing today. Alma also brought in dozens of real-life professionals to mentor the aspiring journalists, which Alma president Anita Luera says is an amazing resource. A lot of the kids, you know, they said, I'm not a good writer, but once the coach is looking over their shoulder, giving them some guidance, and then they start picking up some techniques that they can take back to their schools. And the day-long reporting boot camp greatly influenced the futures of many students including senior Gabriel Camino. It, it got me involved. It taught me the, the valuable skills that are required and the fact that, you know, you know, you have to meet deadlines. At the end of the day, students were able to ask questions and get their feet wet working as real-life journalists. Their work with Alma might one day provide the foundation for a long-lasting career in the industry. Reporting for No. 99, I'm Katie Beery.